One of the accessories available for your ShotMax timer is the silicon skin and screen protector unit. These silicon skins are available in a choice of four colors, black, blue, uh, red or yellow, and they're custom made and designed to fit over your ShotMax timer, also making it possible to use a PET screen protector on the display. The display on the ShotMax timer can scratch if not handled carefully, and to protect that and prevent that from happening, we wanted to provide a screen protector. The problem we face though is that with this watch housing, the face of the watch is not completely flat and any uh, screen protector placed on the watch tends to lift up on the sides. But we did find that w in combination with the silicone skin which holds down that PET screen protector, it can now be used very successfully. So the silicone skin provides you not only the protection to the entire watch housing, improving the dust protection and waterproof protection of the watch, but it also makes it possible to use uh, the screen protectors which are included as part of the silicone skin package. In fact with each silicone skin you receive two screen protectors. Now the way you'll use this is as follows. Taking out your silicone skin and your two screen protectors you want to use the cloth provided to make sure that your display is clean and free of any oil or liquid residue that will prevent the screens from attaching very well. You'll see that on each one of these little PET protectors there are stickers showing you which one you have to uh, peel off first, so in effect which side goes onto the face of the watch. You start by peeling off the layer which says remove first, number one, and then holding it by the tab simply position it so that it fits over the display and overlaps a couple of millimeters on the bottom, top and left and right side. You don't have to be very precise in positioning it as the silicone skin will cover all the way around the screen. You want to try and stick that down avoiding bubbles till it's securely in position at which point you can peel off the outer protective layer leaving only the PET screen attached to the face of the watch. Once that's in place your silicone skin slides up from the bottom over the strap of the watch and you simply stretch it and pull it onto the watch making sure that it goes over your screen protector and into position. And there you have the new silicone skin and screen protector in place on your ShotMax timer.